I like to say, well, where's your best work? And they're like, well, you know, that's qualifier, qualifier, qualifier. And I'm like, okay, fine. Where's your shitty work? Well, Mm -hmm. you know, and at the, you know, when push comes to shove, most people have not just done enough work. You have not produced the garbage for the good. And I'm wondering if you can help the, the person who's sitting there right now with a little bell going off in their brain going, oh shit, they've discovered me, found me out. Give, give this person some advice. Repetition, volume, talk to me about how, how you get from garbage to good. First, accept that you're going to make crap. You know, we have, as human beings, we have this, we're logical and we're emotional simultaneous. Logically, we know I can't get it right on the first try. And emotionally, we get disappointed. But what the hell is that about? So I would say, you know, shake that off and, and, and understand that you are your worst enemy sometimes. And that's okay. We all are. Uh, let go of the fear. Fear is inherent in doing all of this. And um, there's, there's one really enjoyable piece the nugget that I came up with when I was teaching, which I think is useful here. So we all know that uh, we should aim for quality over quantity. Okay. Sure. I agree. I'd rather have one nicely designed thing than 10 pieces of crap. The problem with that phrase is it tells you the destination, not the journey tells you where you should end up, but not how you get there. The true phrase, if you will, should be quality over quantity, but quantity begets quality. So you understand that you need to make a lot and don't worry about whether it's good or not. Your goal is actually not to make something good. It's just to make something. And I think that is the first place that you could start is how do I just iterate and iterate and iterate? And I'm not trying to necessarily make anything that is the final version. I'm just trying to make more because every time you make something, you're learning. And so what, you know, I'm a fan of math and logic and philosophy and all that. What it boils down to is the more you make, mathematically, statistically, the probability that you'll get somewhere worth going increases. And so the more you do, the more you do, the higher the probability until at some point it emerges. But if you try to skip the process and cheat, you're really just cheating yourself because you're not going to get there. 